Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for i5 for the iPhone is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This episode of i5 for the iPhone is brought to you by the new Squarespace. Squarespace introduces a new content management system, making it faster and easier to create a high quality website, blog, or online portfolio. Plus, more than 50 new features, including mobile responsive designs. For a free trial and 10% off your first purchase, go to squarespace.com and use the offer code i511. and welcome to episode 17 of i5 for the iPhone. Every week we cover five topics from the newest apps to very helpful tips and tricks, and of course the week's iPhone news. I'm your host, Sarah Lane, and we've got a jam-packed 10 minutes, so let's get this show on the road. Number one, what were you doing a year ago today? What about two years ago today? Were you tweeting up a storm? Were you uploading photos to Instagram? Were you checking into a cool new pizza place in your neighborhood on Foursquare? With an app called TimeHop, you can hop back in time and find out. TimeHop connects with your Facebook, your Foursquare, your Instagram, your Twitter, and your Flickr accounts, and keeps tabs on your camera roll history too. So every time you fire up TimeHop, it will pull data from this exact same day in the past which is a really sort of fun little nostalgia tool, at least for me, and also a way to remind myself that life moves pretty fast, and if you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. If you're particularly moved by a certain time hop memory or it makes for a good story, you can comment on that, and at that point, the time hop gets shared in your friends' feeds. By default, those people all are the friends on Facebook that also use time hop. And you can, you can change it from there. Their time hop comments are shared with you, too. And some of the stories are really interesting because people go, oh, my gosh, this was a really interesting night. And, oh, that was a year ago. I really like time hop, especially because I'm a very heavy social networker. If you're not, or if you weren't in the past, a year ago might be pretty bare and you might not be getting as much joy as I do out of the app. The good news is it's free to try. And even though I usually hate email newsletters, I do love this one. Oh, and you can access your time hop on the web too. Number two, got an email from Anna Robin, who has a tip for anybody interested in making a mosaic photo book like the one that I showed off last week. She writes, as a digital scrapbooker, I was in total agreement about wanting to be able to add captions to my photos. And here's the answer, Fonto. I love all the fonts and style options. Enjoy. Okay, shall we give it a whirl? That's Fonto, P-H-O-N-T-O, -O, and it's free. Even though it does have ads in the app, if you want to get rid of those, that's a 99 cent upgrade. It's also another 99 cents to unlock a variety of photo themes, and some of those I don't really get. It's a little unintuitive, but let's just stick with the captions. So you load up an image, you add a caption, and then you start experimenting with alignment. You can choose from a pretty wide selection of fonts, a uh, pretty surprising number of cool symbols. Then you can edit the size, rotation, color, move it around till you have a caption you like that looks good. Then you save the photo and go from there. This is a great way to get around a service like Mosaic Photo Books not having the caption option for photos, but you are altering the image itself, so that's not necessarily gonna appeal to you. And there's only so much that you can say without covering too much of the photo, too. So a couple words are probably better than a couple sentences. But Fonto is nice, and if you don't mind the ads up top, it doesn't cost anything. Number three. A few episodes back, I introduced you to Circa, which is an app that attempts to summarize news stories from multiple sources into a single, succinct, factual article. And I said, I wondered how the service would scale since the info parsing was actually being done manually by a small team of people, of real humans. Which is interesting because there's another app called Sumly that's doing something very similar to Circa, offering synopses of news from a variety of sources and trying to keep the facts front and center. But what makes Sumly different is that it's powered by robots. More specifically, by a partnership with SRI, which is a nonprofit research and development institute focusing on machine learning and natural language processing. In fact, they're the same folks behind Ceres technology, which, of course, well, Ceres is not perfect, and neither is Sumly yet. 
So let's get into it. The app looks great. You flip through big stories on the cover page, or you browse by category. You can add your own category too, uh, to follow a particular topic or person or theme. That's easy, you just add it in there. When you're browsing your summaries, you can swipe down to send to the original article. You can swipe left to go to the next summary in the same category. You can swipe up to go back home. I think it's easy to use. It looks really nice. However, the summaries themselves don't always work. Occasionally, I'll get one that doesn't really make sense, so I have to go to the context of the original article, which definitely defeats the purpose. Doesn't mean that robot-driven news summaries will never work. It just means right now, it's not perfect. Summly does have a lot of buzz and some impressive partners and backers. Yoko Ono, anyone? So it'll be fun to watch it evolve. Number four. Got an email from Charles, who's got a tip for anybody who either has a broken home button or volume button or lock button or just needs some accessibility help if using parts of the iPhone are difficult. So here's what you do. You open up settings, you tap general, then scroll down to the physical and motor section and turn assistive touch on. Now you've got a little semi-transparent circle hovering on your screen. You can drag it to wherever you'd like as long as it's on an edge. And then when you tap it, you have a bunch of little menu items and they're all familiar. You can launch Siri. You can go to your home screen if you're four pages deep in apps. You can adjust your volume up or down, take a screenshot, things like that. You can turn on multi-finger gestures if you're in an app that uses multi-finger swipe features, but then you only have to use the one finger. That can be really helpful for some people. Or you can record custom gestures that you might need to replicate regularly. It comes with pinch preloaded. Although I certainly hope none of you have broken home buttons, I have had friends who have used assistive touch to squeeze more life out of an aging iPhone before upgrading. And of course, if you have mobility issues where you just like giving yourself creative shortcuts, there's lots of potential here. It takes a little practice for this to feel natural, but it definitely works. This episode of i5 for the iPhone is brought to you by the new Squarespace.com. Now it's faster and easier than ever to create a high quality website or blog. In fact, anybody that needs an online portfolio to display their creative work through photos, text, videos, anything. That's photographers, filmmakers, painters, fashion designers, architects. I'm talking to you people. You will love Squarespace. Squarespace 6 is the new content management system. And boy, is it pretty. New templates that are all mobile ready. Your site will look amazing on the web, on a smartphone, a tablet, anywhere. Using the new layout engine, it adds blocks of content for photos, videos, text, social media, just by dragging and dropping. It's truly easy to put together a beautiful site from scratch. Automatically import, sync, and publish to and from social media with just a few clicks. If you're a big Instagram user, pull photos from Instagram into your site. Make sure your new blog entries get auto-published to Twitter. The whole thing's connected with Squarespace. Each template also has hundreds of customization options. Change your grid layout, all your colors. You have over 300 fonts to choose from. It's a unified service. Design, hosting, customer support. Squarespace does it all. Try building that incredible website, blog, or online portfolio today. For a free trial, go to squarespace.com and sign up for a free account. Don't need a credit card, you just try it out and start building your website. If you want to purchase a plan, use the offer code I511 and you'll get 10% off your first purchase on new accounts that includes monthly and annual plans. That's squarespace.com and use the offer code I511. Finally, number five. Last week I ended the show with Facebomb, which is a face swapping app that's possibly the most ridiculous thing I've ever shown on I5 until now. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you, I'm a unicorn. Yeah, that's actually the name of the app, and I'm a is one word, Kanye style. The app is free and it comes with a couple sticker packs, although of course extra packs like Sparkle or Glitter are an extra in-app purchase of 99 cents. So you pick a photo from your camera roll, or you take one within the app, and then you go nuts with unicorn horns, anime eyes, butterfly wings, balloons. You get the idea. It's the perfect thing to text to a friend that you haven't seen in a while, right? To show them that you care. By the way, you can also post your award-winning art creation to Facebook or Twitter or send it in an email or post it to Instagram right from within the app, as well as MMS or just save to your library. I said I'm a unicorn was ridiculous and I meant it.
And that's it for this episode of I-5 for the iPhone. If you want links to everything we talk about or to subscribe to the show, which is totally free, or catch up on episodes 1 through 16, just visit us at twit.tv slash i5. And if you know an app junkie or just somebody who needs some iPhone tips, send them our way. We'd love to have them, too. Email us your deepest, darkest secrets at i5 at twit.tv. Leave us a voicemail at 614-ON-I-5. Or send us a video with an app review of your own. I'm Sarah Lane, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>